and uh, Tony Gowell and everyone else that, that runs the convention here have been so grateful for, you know, to have us all here. And it's, it's such a pleasure to come here and meet a lot of really great people. And you know what I love about it is you come here and everyone's has, having such a good time, you know. People are dressed up every day. They're in different costumes and stuff. I said to my um, my mom, called me, she goes, how are those conventions you've never been? I was like, well, let's put it this way. I was standing beside a stormtrooper. <laughs> A guy that's about seven feet tall with his Chewbacca head in his hands and the girl's completely naked in body paint. She's like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah, exactly. And he works for NASA. She was a dentist and I'm an actor at Stargate. So, look at him, come on, how crazy is that? You know, what a weird dichotomy of people that, yeah, you know, and it's so fun because you never find that and everyone's having a good time. Like, there's never any, is there any problems? I'm like, no, there's no fights, nothing. Everyone's having a good time. Some people watch football, some people watch basketball, some people watch sci-fi. You know what? And, uh, and I'm happy to be part of that sci-fi family. It's awesome. Um, so, you know, as far as my, my part, uh, uh, being part of that show and being part of Stargate Atlantis has been such a pleasure for me, and I know the rest of the cast feel the same way. David Hewlett, horrible kisser. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice lips, though. Uh, <laughs> Uncomfortable, creepy. Uh, Joe Flanagan, uh, you know, the loving Tori Higginson, uh, Jason Momoa, Rainbow Sun Franks, you know, season one and two, uh, Rachel Luttrell, and uh, we, you know, we've all had a great time being on the show. And honestly, it's so nice to come to the scene because I don't often get a chance to see those guys. So when we all get together, you guys get together as well. So it's, it's kind of a reunion for everybody, I think, in many ways. So uh, it's been such a, a pleasure. Uh, to work on the show and come back and also move on and do different things, you know, it's been very fortunate for me. I'm, you know, I'm, some of you probably know I had a little small part in the Star Trek movie, which is really cool. Thank you. And, and a lot of the people petitioned for me initially to be Scotty. Uh, I know it's mostly the Stargate fans, you know. I remember uh, the casting director, April Webster, who's a lovely lady, called my manager and said, like, who is Paul McGillian, what, what is going on? They're getting inundated at Paramount with these letters for him to play Scotty. And I had to, I was doing, star, like, I came back to this fifth season of Stargate, I'm like, uh, I, don't, I, mean, I didn't know they're casting him. I didn't, honestly, I did not even know there was a movie. And they're like, who is this guy, right? I'm like, why? And she goes, we're getting hundreds of letters for him to play Scotty at Paramount. Thank you, and then I, uh, you know, read for the part because they said we got to put him on tape. I mean, who, you know, so I did it, and I, I hopefully did a, a good job. And then, um, uh, you know, obviously went to uh, Simon Pegg, who's a terrific actor, did a great job, and the movie is fantastic. I thought really, really great. I was driving back up to Vancouver to do a play. It was late November. Um, and I got a call from my manager saying, listen, you know, we knew I didn't get Scotty, and it's like, you went a certain direction, which happens in the business, you know. But he said, JJ's office, JJ Abrams' office called, and they'd love you to, you know, have a part of the movie. I'm like, okay, what is it? He said, well, they won't tell you, they won't tell you until you say yes. I'm like, yes. <laughs> you know, yes, I'll do it. So, um, you know, obviously, you know, a small part of C. McKirk, I have a hat on if you didn't recognize me, don't blink. Um, but, uh, so cool to be part of a cool movie like that. I think I'm the only person from Stargate to cross over to Star Trek, which is really cool. Thank you. Which goes back to my dad's story. When I first said to him, I said, Dad, what are you doing? I said, I'm do I got a great part of playing a Scottish character on a TV show. Fantastic. Janet Paul playing a character, Scottish character on a TV show. That's fantastic. <laughs> What is it? I said, it's Stargate. What? I said, Stargate. Star Trek. I said, no, Stargate. Star Trek. I said, no, Stargate. Star Trek. I said, no, Stargate. It's Stargate Atlantis. It's not bloody Stargate. It's Star Trek. I've been watching it for years. I said, Dad, no, it's Stargate. Stargate Atlantis. It's Star Trek, man. I said, Dad, I'm the one doing it. Don't raise your voice to your old man. Here's your mom. Janet, pause on the Star Trek. Oh my god, are you the Star Trek? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. And you know what? Yes, I was. <laughs> I 
rectify that situation. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was very cool to be part of that. Uh, I just finished doing a, a part on Supernatural. You know that show? <laughs> Someone likes those boys in the show. Uh, it, with, yeah, with Jensen and Jared. Very nice fellas. Uh, great show. It's an episode with Paris Hilton in it. I don't have any scenes with her. <laughs> apparently she's fantastic. Um, but apparently she's very nice and I think it's going to be a really cool episode. So it was really fun to work on that show. Um, and, you know, besides that, just do, do my thing. Living in Vancouver, between Vancouver and Los Angeles. Uh, things have been really, really good. And I'm just super happy to be here. So uh, before I start taking questions, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, this is honestly my favorite favorite uh, venue to be at and come here and have a chat with you guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend because it's, it's such a great place to be. So thank you. Don't make me cry because I will. Okay, so and now apparently I'm going to take some questions. So everybody wants to... We have two. We have two mics or something? Yeah, we have two mics. Oh my god, look at her. Thank you very much. We have two mics, one here, raise your hand, and on the other side, they're gonna alternate between, and keep it clean, people. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Um, can I have a glass of water or something, a bottle of water? Thank you. Okay, anybody have a question? Where are we? I can barely see because the light's so bright here. Over there, yes. Just ask me anything. Joe Flanagan, anything, I know all the dirty laundry, everything, I'll make it up. If I don't know it, I'll make it up. I'll lie. It'd be good though, it'd be funny. Okay, the question I have is, will there be any crossover from this? Where are you? Right, I'm tiny. I'm Wait. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. Um, will there be any crossover for SG-1 or Atlantis into the new universe, Stargate universe? Would you like that? Yeah! I certainly hope so, thank you very much. Um, uh, you know, I, I, as far as I know, I think um, <clears throat> Michael Shanks has already crossed over. <laughs> Great guy. Um, and but no one from Atlantis has crossed over yet. Yet. And uh, hopefully we'll see what happens. But I would obviously it would be a pleasure to do so. And I know they're doing a great job with the show. Apparently it looks amazing. So I'm really excited to see it. So. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens in the, next, the, the coming years, but uh, it'd be very nice, and hopefully for the fans, I think the fans would enjoy that, so we'll see what happens, but uh, it'd be a pleasure. Hi. Hi. What's your favorite novel? Pardon me? What's your favorite novel? The World According to Garth. I'll tell you what, I was a wrestler in University High School, a wrestler, and uh, what a great story. And uh, I remember after having read the, read the book, uh, watching the movie, and uh, what, Robin Williams did such a great job in that, and so did John Lithgow. Uh, I love, love the movie, love the book. That's, that's my favorite all time. Hi. Hi. Um, thanks for being here again. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Don't you look at me like that. <laughs> Blazing a trail through me, <laughs> sexy little thing. <laughs> Keep that. Oh my god, sorry. Second. Time change, sorry guys. <laughs> um, I wanted to know if 